What is going on everybody, it's Stas here, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about none other than Warren Buffett's top 10 stock market holdings as of right now in 2019 through his holding company, Berkshire Hathaway. And as you guys can see right here, I do have the 2018 annual report for Berkshire Hathaway so we can see some of the holdings in the portfolio. And then we'll hop over here to Data Roma, which shows the portfolio how many holdings and the order and weight of the holdings in the portfolio so if you guys enjoy this video feel free to go down below and hit that like button drop a comment let me know what you think about it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see further content for me and let's get right into it guys so as we scroll down the annual report here we get to a point where we can see the top five holdings of berkshire hathaway and as of right now they're american express apple bank of america coca-cola and wells fargo and based off that list you guys can see how much warren buffett loves those banking stocks he loves banks and believe it or not he owns a lot more banks a lot of more banks that we'll get into here in a couple of minutes as i show you guys the other five top holdings that he owns and that's going to be in data roma but you guys can see here american express year-end ownership berkshire owns 17.9 percent of american express Express. They own 5.4% of Apple, 9.5% of Bank of America, 9.4% of Coca-Cola, 9.8% of Wells Fargo. So you can see they have a lot of skin in the game. You got to think about it. When you're a fund of uh, when you own a holding company that has billions of billions of billions of dollars in cash you know the only worthwhile investments are ones where you're putting multiple billions multiple billions of dollars into an investment which happens to actually grab a huge percentage of that company right so i don't know how much of a market cap wells fargo has but let's say they have like an 100 million or 100 billion dollar market cap that means Buffett owns 10 billion. That means Berkshire owns 10 billion of that since they own roughly 10%. And that's a lot of skin in the game, right? And they own a lot, a lot of businesses outright as well. You can see here dividends from American Express were 237 uh, uh, a million here. Apple, 745 million. Bank of America, 551 million. Coca Cola, 624 million. And Wells Fargo, 809 million so those are some key data points here and if you guys want to do more research on individual stocks i highly recommend looking through annual reports this will help you in your research heavily all right guys so now that we're in data roma we can actually see all of the holdings of berkshire hathaway for the period of quarter one in 2019 31st of march in 2019 so the number of stocks right now are 48 the portfolio value is almost 200 billion dollars and i know we already went over the top five but we'll run through them again in actual order of the percentage weight of the portfolio so apple's actually the biggest position in berkshire hathaway's portfolio at 23.77 percent at a value of 47 billion dollars bank of america is the second biggest position at a 12.39 percent of the portfolio they have almost 900 million shares at a value of 24 billion dollars wells fargo is the third largest position at almost a 10 percent stake in the portfolio 409 million shares at a value of 19 billion dollars coca-cola one of the largest investments buffett has held is a 9.4 percent stake in the portfolio the fourth largest position at 400 million shares with a a value of almost 19 billion dollars leading us to american express 8.31 percent of the portfolio at 151 million shares 16 billion dollars almost 17 billion dollar stake in american express and like we said you can see in the top five there's a lot of banking companies and if we go down even more you can see a lot more banking companies right you have goldman sachs right 
Bank of New York, J.P. Morgan, Chase, <clears throat> U.S. Bank Corp. You know, Buffett, Berkshire, they just absolutely love banking stocks, right? So you can see here, KHC, Kraft Heinz, which is actually one of the most... Um, kind of scrutinized positions of Buffett lately because they cut their dividend a couple months back. I'm sure a lot of you guys remember this. And since then, Kraft Heinz has just been dropping through the floor. It's been killing. It's been just, just killing investors. Been going lower, lower, and lower. And last time I checked Kraft Heinz, I think the price is at about like $30 uh, per share, but don't quote me on that. Either way, Kraft Heinz makes up 5.33% of his portfolio, 3 325 million shares at a value of almost 11 billion dollars 10.6 to be exact u.s bank corp yet again another bank he owns 3.12 percent in this portfolio of U.S. Bancorp, 129 million shares at a value of $6 billion. J.P. Morgan Chase, 3.02% of the portfolio at 60 million shares nearly with a value of $6 billion. And we know he's been adding this one, as you guys can see in the recent activity tab. It's up 18.75%. Uh, and we'll take a look at that further in a couple of seconds here. But Moody... MCO is the ticker symbol. It's 2.24% of the portfolio, 24 million shares at a value of nearly $4.5 billion. And the 10th largest holding here is ticker symbol BK, Bank of New York. 2.05% of the portfolio is in this stock at 80 million shares, nearly 81 million shares with a value of $4.1 billion. So now that we talked about the top 10 holdings in Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway portfolio, let's take a look at some activity, some buys, and some sells in the portfolio recently so we can see what has he been doing, what kind of moves have been made at Berkshire Hathaway. We can see here in the quarter one 2019 tab, Red Hat, ticker symbol RHT, has been added heavily into the portfolio. It's up 22.38%, a share change of 9%. 934,000. JP Morgan's up 18.75%. As we just mentioned, they've been adding heavily into this one, up 9 million in terms of shares. Delta Airlines, he loves airlines as well. As you can see, Southwest is down here as well. He's been adding some airlines. He, he actually cut Southwest a bit. I'm guessing to add some into Delta. And you can see PNC and other financial services. This was added uh, by 5%, 409 or 407 rather thousand um, in terms of share change Amazon's the new and biggest um, you know kind of uh, in terms of a media perspective position that was taken because historically Warren Buffett doesn't really take positions in tech companies other than Apple which he started in 2016 so the fact that he realizes that the world is heading into a new direction obviously he's he's realized this in the past but he just really sticks to his circle of competence but now now that he sees that he starts to understand some of these companies, he's starting to invest in them. It's going to be interesting to see how his position in Amazon and some of these other tech companies ends up playing out here in the next couple of years and, you know, months. I'm really interested to see. So you can see um, 483,000 in share change here in Amazon. He cut charter communications by 1.3 million shares. Philip 66, he cut that a lot. 6 million shares, 53.32%, and he cut Verizon completely at 928 shares. So that's some interesting stuff, guys. And if we go to buys and we go to sells, you'll see pretty much that exact um, you know, you know, grouping of what we saw in the activities tab. Another thing I want to mention right now is that Berkshire Hathaway in general has about 110 to 120 billion dollars in cash from the last time that I checked. And not every single penny, obviously, is invested into the stock market, which leads me to believe that. 
that Warren Buffett and Berkshire, they may believe the stock market right now is a bit overvalued and that there may be deals in the coming years if the stock market does end up seeing a bit of a correction or even a crash, right? So they're sitting in cash of about like 40, 50% now, I believe, maybe even a little bit more, probably like, actually probably like 50, 55, 60% at this point. And that's interesting to me. So let me know in the comments what you think about that. And I'm going to wrap up the video here, guys. If you did enjoy it, feel free to go down below and hit that like button. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want to see further content from me and drop a comment let me know what you think about Warren Buffett's top 10 positions his portfolio in general I would love to know what you have to think so I'll catch you all in the next video thanks again for watching peace out